Sidley again with another ROM review and this time I've got Asylum Omni KitKat for Galaxy S3. Now um, about the ROM, this is as the name suggests based on Omni ROM with a few modification. Um, the crew, the, the team which made the ROM is called Team Asylum, hence the name Asylum Omni. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all what you would see here is the lock screen which is pretty good uh, the similar version of a KitKat one but you do have a different uh, kind of handle you can see the wallpaper which is kind of creepy and everything about the well it's just my opinion but everything about the ROM is kind of dark and uh, heavy metalish style uh, creepy thing so if you're into that you will love this ROM so you can see the icons are kind of blacked out rather than uh, blue uh, whatever color scheme is supposed to be it is kind of blacked out because this is a frameworks modded rom so it does have a theme overlay so that is something which i wanted to talk about now let's get into the settings menu first in the settings you can see in the about phone page you can see it is android kitkat so yeah 25 uh, 26 of 1 2014 so that is the omni version omni asylum so 26 is the release date omni build number kernel version to 3.0.64 so yeah these are the options available here now this is i mean really a dark rom um so let's get into the features now this does have a few extra features which are not available in omni like uh, it comes with a uh, super su which is well it is previously rooted that is to say so it it does have root out of the box and yeah that is one of the features let's get into the extra features first of all we have the interference bars in the bars option you have all of these options first of all uh, brightness control if you don't have automatic brightness you can have brightness control by sliding across the status bar so that is there notification count is when you have more than one notification it will show the number of notifications also so it's available in a lot of other ROMs but it is available in this one also Network speed indicator is an omni feature. Network activity indicator shows the arrows rather than the speed. So that is a really great feature. I normally use that. But it is uh, said to be a bit more uh, RAM using. So yeah. Quick pull down is for the notification quick settings. And about the quick setting, I'll get into that. Uh, smart pull down is available if there is no notification or if there are no notification or if there are no clearable notifications. So it is smart. And you do have this function, quick setting uh, configure, configurable. If you want the quick setting to be configurable every time, you can click that. Uh, enable or disable dynamic road change. So that is it. So about that, I'll show you guys what it means by that. Um, you can see the quick setting is uh, doesn't have a separate setting menu to configure this. You have a edit icon there. If you click the edit, you can configure this. So these smaller things are actually disabled if you click it it they are enabled and then you can just click this again so that you don't you can go back to the normal menu and you will have the setting layout and to change the layout you can just click here and so then you can just move it around by just long pressing that so that is pretty great so these uh, this is the way you change the uh setting the quick setting layout so that is pretty cool what else do we have here uh that is it in the bars uh setting menu let's go to the menu in the menu that is the power menu you can have mobile data enable disable screenshot airplane mode and sound toggle so these are the normal settings you can add these also like uh mobile data you can add it so that the mobile data is here so that is pretty good what else do we have uh, in the notification drawer also you have contextual notification panel header one of the key um, omni features copied into all the other roms you can have a time specific notification panel header which uh, works pretty good so it is 1045 so you can see this is there you can have quick swipe which is pretty good if you enable quick swipe uh, the swipe area would not be uh, limited to the bar you can swipe it from here also so that is a pretty great feature to have active display does have active display so you can have uh, whatever combination 
and uh, you do have turn off display which means that if you put the phone back into your pocket it will automatically turn off the display so that is pretty good feature but it does use the um the proximity sensor a lot so hmm. Animation control is kind of different from what I would have expected. Uh, it has a lot more features. First of all, system feature is the AOKP uh, animation. So uh, it's kind of similar to whatever uh, the other ROMs have. So nothing special in that. List view animation also, you do have a few options. So you can test it. So I am using the normal scale and overshoot option. And one thing, if you want to use the animation, you need this slider will be at zero. And if the slider is at zero, the list view animation won't be available. You have to move this to uh, get the list view animation. And this slider is really great. If you want it fast and not uh, a bit distracting, you can keep it at minimal and it will be fast. So, and if you want it smooth and well, just beautiful, you can have it at full and just enjoy the show so that is something which is really cool and it does have an excluded application list also and normally i exclude uh titanium backup because uh face let's face it whenever you are in trouble you use titanium backup so i, I don't want this style in titanium backup so that's it it does have scrolling animation which is really cool what i'm using right now right now with the scrolling animation is the bounce effect you can see the bounce effect the bounce effect is there so that is configurable from the scrolling effect uh, uh, you have all of these fling velocity is called friction over scroll distance so you can enable uh, you can increase that over over fling distance also so you have a lot of options to fiddle with there so yeah in the animation control there is also a keyboard function so you can enable or disable the uh, animation of the keyboard enter exit and interpolator whatever so I have now uh, had a random, random and interpolatory cycle. So you can have that and you can actually test it also. So let's test it. So the keyboard is now growing. Let's see the exit. So it's fading out. Now it was growing from the top and it just blinked. Okay. You have a lot of options also there. <laughs> so what was that? Uh, that is great. Uh, you can have that. And... Uh, it kind of makes a bling so it's more for those people who want to show off okay so what else do we have in the more setting also there's one uh, there are a few options driving mode is a really great feature I really like that and I might be enabling that uh, to show you guys so you have recent view also you have clear all button a trademark omni feature clear all button position memory indicator and memory indicator position what is memory indicator memory indicator is kind of like the ram bar but instead of a bar you get this circle where the ram usage is given so it is now showing 477 megabytes free so that is a great feature to have so pretty cool now what i just enabled is the split view animation split uh, the split view so it does have multi window but uh, as you have seen right now, it's not very stable. Uh, it kind of jumps into multi window whenever you are trying to access something from the recent menu. But yeah, if you want to intentionally access it, you can just long press it and put aside. It will enable the multi window. So that is, uh, well, it's, it works good, but not fully um, accessible right now. So something of a gripe there. What else? Now, driving mode, I would like to take a minute for the driving mode it does have a lot of feature now driving mode if you enable that you have a lot of things here now you can uh, in incoming call you can enable disable speak for incoming call you can enable new message also battery full indicator connect charger disconnect charger clock clock and date is something which I really not the date much clock is something which I really like uh, when you're driving you can just unlock the phone and just listen so that is really good it gives you an approximate time without you glancing at the phone that is really a great feature you can also have notification so whenever a notification arrives you will get a text message received or a call missed call something like that it's really great it's kind of a new feature I think uh, I don't think Omnirom has it but I could be wrong I haven't tried out Omni in a, in a long time so yeah so these are the options in the interface settings. It, it does have a few options in the display also. In here you can see the screen of animation option is there. It's not uh, 
get out uh, you have fade out scale down or electron beam so you do have that I, my favorite one is fade out you do have buttons option so you can have that volume default something which I really appreciate is volume default because you can change if uh, the what the volume button is linked to so normally it is none uh, normally it is the ringer but i rarely change the ringer volume so it is good to have the media button here so that is really great it does have a great performance setting it is from the omni rom so it uh, is pretty cool it is not doing anything now the core one and core two are offline because i guess it's trying to save battery maybe so yeah these are the apps with, it, with which it comes and you can see everything is blacked out rather than not none the ES file explorer is something which I added because I want to install the Antutu benchmarks app so yeah let's show you guys the Antutu benchmark scores then uh, the score was 18200 and uh, well I have flashed it two or three times and the average was about 18700 uh, so yeah, yeah that's pretty normal nothing to be scared of or nothing uh, too hypocritical or something but it's pretty good uh, it's something you would expect let me show you guys the boot animation which is uh, again for my taste scary so that is the boot animation which again I am stressing I can't stress that enough it's scary for my taste really scary so that is the boot animation a siren you can see now about the battery life now um, I'm not too impressed with the battery life of this ROM. Uh, it wasn't the best. Well, it never is the best. But still, the battery life is usable. I wouldn't go ahead and say that it's good. But it's usable. I'm not particularly interested. Uh, but I was able to... Uh, the battery drain for me was about one... Um, I'll just show you guys that. After my second flash, you can see it was at about 8... Uh, the 10 hour... 10 percentage has been lost in about one hour. So that is not really um, good. Well, but it's still uh, acceptable. I wouldn't say it's really bad. But still... Okay, something which I forgot. Uh, there is a battery indicator option here in the battery settings. So you can just go and select whatever you want. You do have a circle and percentage and things like that so you do have that option also so i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye